Welcome back to Frontier for episode 10 with me, Mr. Sidney P. Now I'm at a carpentry that decided a full load out, so I did two full loads to the sawmill and it filled it. It wouldn't take any more, so I took what was left in my trailer to Palico and then bought a full load here, that's why I got to 208,000. But the reason I'm here is because I wanted to show myself unloading here and blocking the road. But something's come up, is it here? I'm not quite sure where it is. Is it here? Oh, please tell me that's not full as well. Oh no. I've got nowhere to sell my wood. Okay, that's full. Um, right then. Redo that. I'll take that and put the rest. I have got some pallets. But anyway, yeah, I suddenly thought I haven't looked on the um, used vehicles for quite a while. Clicked on used vehicles and there's a tractor for sale. And I thought, to be fair, I don't own a tractor for doing farm work and as I'm kind of moving in towards that kind of thing. I also thought I need to do some stump grinding. Um, I'm, I can use this various different mulchers and grinders. I think they go on the, the wheel loaders, so potentially I could choose. That's just a good point. Um, let me just have a look. Yeah, so there's the Massey Ferguson, 79 grand. Which I thought, to be fair, that'll go up to 220 horsepower. I'm pretty sure the one that's available is only the 175, but it's not a bad old uh, tractor, to be fair. For 79 grand. So I'm thinking head us in the right direction with regard to farm machinery uh, but while we're on here as well yeah it's going to be forestry isn't it and then the option for wheel loader i would imagine i'm thinking the devourer but without the um oh that's it there that goes with the crawler loader forestry mulcher we might just get that there's a devourer i know works really quickly and then we've got the uh, tree be gone the Mini, I think, is for skizzy loaders and stuff, but that one should have the option. No, it's a three-point. Okay, that's... That's a three-point as well. So I was thinking tractor, but that's designed for the crawler loader. So... so I've got to get rid of those stumps all over the plot. And you'll see in the morning, in the, the cold light of day, the situation... Um, You know what? Oh, I'll lease it in the morning, actually. There's no point me leasing it now, because then I'll, I won't be able to use it in the dark, and then I'll be paying for it overnight. So what do we reckon? What do we reckon? I'm going to do it. We've done it. You see our pallets at the front? So again, we'll see in the morning how this is faring. Um, it seems to be working how it should be for me. Um, we'll see. I don't know whether if I remove those, whether more will spawn, but, but nothing will change. I suppose that's a test as well. I need to do that. Move those out of the way and see what happens. This is going to more than fill it. And hopefully by the morning, because I've, I've got a load of lumber. What I've done basically is gone through my forest area that I bought. Oh, that's the thing. Oh, I'll show you in the morning. Um, we've got an oak harvest in the morning. I found some more. I said I didn't think there was any on there, in clearing the trees. Are we full? 148,000 litres? I think we might be, you know. Let's have a look. Yep, we're full. So, I'll leave this here for the time being. There's not much on it. I'll take it back, and then uh, I'll go on. I'm going to go and get my tractor. Uh, so I'll see you in the morning now. Like I say, we've got a harvest to do. I need to shift those out of the way and see what happens with regard to pallets spawning. I'm assuming it's only going to spawn what's in there. So it could be a mod conflict. Could be all sorts of things. Uh, do I want to shove those with the lorry? Do it with the lorry. Oops. <laughs> Start the engine. I 
and I'll show you my plot and I'll show you where the uh, the all is was and I'll get the bucket out there we'll get that cleared and um, see where we go from there let's move those right out of the way push those Bike out of the way, it should spawn two more. Ah. Okay, so this could be what people are talking about. Hmm, okay. So this could be what was being referred to. It spawned the first three. Now according to what I've got in there, 1,458 litres, that's stored. Now I assume that was because this will only spawn three out the front. So when I put three here, then it will continue to store the rest until you move them. But well, according to that, having 1,459 litres in there, that would have only done two more pallets and it's done three. Okay, so this is potentially what people are talking about. It looks, it looks all fine and dandy on the surface. But beneath the surface, something lurked. Let's move those out of the way, try again. Oh no, so this could be what they're talking about. It all looks alright until you did that. Yep. And if that still says 1,400, yeah. Okay. The strange thing is, it's still taking, and I don't, I don't have any pallet mods installed. I don't have anything unusual or untoward, so it's got to be this, isn't it? Um, so I'm assuming it's going to, on like I say, on the surface, it's it's running. It's using the wood I've put in there. The pallets are or being produced. It's storing it up. So I can only assume that the pallet bar over this side will go up and up and up my wood will come down and down and down but it will continually just give me three pallets at a time every time I take them out but it had to have something in there and it had to be running before any pallets could spawn or would spawn but they are because there's no way I should have 9,000 litres worth of pallets at this point ah. like I said I wasn't doubting anyone that had messaged me. I wasn't saying they were wrong. I, I wanted to see for myself. I wanted to see what the problem was, how it manifested itself. Um, and when I was doing it in the last episode, everything seemed normal because on the, on the surface, it all seems to be working as it should be. And when I came back to bring a load up to the carpentry, I saw a couple of pallets here and I thought, oh, that's all right, there's a couple of pallets sat there. That's what it should be doing. Um, but this... I'm going to have to bring some up here to move these out of the way. Anyway, right, I'm going to go and um, go and grab my tractor and I'll see you in the morning for uh, some shenanigans by the looks of things. It's 8, 18 December 2, the horses are um, exercised for the day and I'm up at our forestry plot. Like I said, I've got the no, I've got that harvest contract, so I'm just thinking about the dirt on the road up here, only because I, I brought the lorry up. <laughs> that was a game. Um, bit of a nightmare actually. We've got another full load and I'm up at the landing. I'm up at the landing because I've got logs here. I've got logs here. I've got logs here. Where I haven't got any. <laughs> I've cleared pretty much the entire site right the way up to our boundary 
I had a couple of piles of logs down there. That was what I was delivering last night. So all down there to the road is cleared. <laughs> when I said in the last episode about getting in the zone and, you know, just, I just, yeah, yesterday just cracked on. I was just loving it. Cutting down trees, using the winch, dragging them into piles. Yeah, it was been brilliant. So my boundary runs right the way across here. You can pretty much see the straight line that comes up from that little house when I showed on the map yesterday, right the way across and down. Now we do have access to, um, because it's part of the plot we own, all the way down to the road here. There's a few of these trees, but some of these trees on the edges are an absolute nightmare without using a cable yarder. Um, and then that bit down there, that's the Atreides mine. Now the, the land is owned by them, but the mine isn't. So the land is owned by Atreides Mining Corporation. Um, and oh yeah, I said about the, um, where was it? It's in one of these pits. So there's a couple of deep pits here. And when I cleared the trees out, I found it. Where is it? Here it is. There you go. Oh, we have an ore pit down the bottom there. So I do have some ore. I'm not quite sure I'm going to get to that, actually. That is really steep-sided. Maybe from the edge here. Um, I'm wondering, actually, whether or not... It might not be a bad idea. If I clear the stumps out, whether or not, once the stumps are clear, I did a little bit of landscaping, if I smoothed out the access, maybe, to it. That might work. Uh, so we have got some more here, which I'm going to try and get to later on. I'm also thinking I might lease that pickup that I used on the, the dirt episode that I got from the... the um, transitional authority and just clear this roadway because this roadway is part of our property and like I say getting the lorry up here was tricky enough unloaded I, I, I think I can swap this on to um, is it trailer box it's, it's an agricultural set I'm on continental road tires at the moment but I think I can put an agricultural set on there not that's gonna make a lot of difference so what I'm gonna do I'm gonna take this down to the sawmill hopefully that has chug through some overnight and I'll bounce a little bit whatever's left I'll take to the carpentry and as far as I'm aware our production is sitting on 4,851 litres it has worked its way through and it is working its way through and as far as I can tell I, I, I can just move three at a time and get three more up here so it would appear as people have been saying it is spawning and I've been through and checked all my, my mods I haven't got any pallet mods not that are sort of historically known to cause problems so it's not too bad going down there but I've clear all this is cleared it's all yeah I, I cleared the whole site now like I say I've got some to the left there I tried to cut a tree and missed completely and it went down the side which is covering the road down to the mine a little bit so whether I can get to that and get it out or not I'm not too sure I have to be incredibly careful to turn here that I don't roll anything because it's quite steep on the, the uh, turn. Should be alright. So I went for the four axle. And then I'll go over to the farm. Now I said in the last episode I had a plan for dealing with the fact I don't have a harvester. I took on a harvesting contract and borrow, uh, I didn't borrow equipment. I just, yeah. I just said yes, I'll take on the contract. We're not quite there, time was second. Be alright on the turn there. I do not want this to roll over and take the time. So the transitional authority at their main farm, remember I said in the early episodes that they have got equipment and machinery that, that I have access to, but I have to for a one-shot use, it's a hundred dollars. So when I borrowed their fleet side, it was $100. What else did I borrow? I borrowed something else, didn't pledge it. Oh, it was $100. Um, if I'm going to borrow a harvester for a harvest, um, I've got to pay them more. So I'm thinking a grand should cover it. Still cheaper than leasing a harvester. So if I borrow their harvester and pay them a grand for, that's kind of technically 10 short borrows. Is that, is that, I think that sounds all right. Is there anything new that can be... Oh, little T6, lovely. That was there yesterday. 53% off. The only problem I found with this on um, Silver On was the reach wasn't particularly great. 
I love them. I think they look absolutely awesome. Fantastic little bit of kit. For 19,000. I mean, that's cheaper than the skid steer loader. I'm thinking for moving all those pallets around. I've gone into a spending frenzy. You know what? I'm going to buy it. Sometime later. Right. I've picked it up. Grabbed myself some forks. And uh, all I'm going to do is move those... Um, move those pallets out of the way that are all stuck there. I'm going to come back later on to move that metal. But I'm going to need the um, crawler loader uh, because I don't have a, a weight on the back of that. I mean, I could put a weight on the back of this. Thinking about it, I could have done, which would have been a bit... Well, it will still work, actually. One of those TLX weights will still work. Um, but I'm going to move those out the way... I'm not going to move the ones... I'm not going to sell them yet. I don't know. I don't know what to do about this. This is the same as the pallet thing. This isn't something I've caused. This is something that's just happening. Um, but like I said, I wanted to find out. I wanted, you know, but it's that thing of now. Now I do know. Now I know that I've put, you know, 148 grams of, of um, 148 grams of, 148,000 litres worth, if not a little bit more, of lumber in there. Do I just take that amount of pallets worth out I mean I should do really shouldn't I because I've gone to the trouble of cutting the trees down and um, it would make sense wouldn't it to just say to myself right if this is going to spawn indefinitely as long as I leave three pallets sat there no more will come out but just let it run until the lumber runs out and try and work out with that recipe how many pallets that would work out at and only sell that amount of pallets or distribute that amount of pallets or you know that's the fairest way of doing it because I could just set that now onto distribution um, or selling and just leave that now and that will just keep selling and I assume that will just keep selling and selling or will it just spawn indefinitely but if it's selling will it only sell until it runs out of wood hmm. well, test I guess but anyway. uh, yeah so I'm going to move these around a little bit and uh, get back to the reg regularly scheduled programming I've been moving some bits and bobs back and forwards, as you've seen, uh, got a set of forks. I could have got the forks from the farm, actually, but I thought I'd keep them on that, the, uh, the Volvo. So, move some pallets out of the way, and it is respawning more. Yep. <laughs> so, what I've done then was, uh, I went to get the mulcher header, but that, I think, only hooks up to this. I didn't try it with the other load, so I, I was coming back anyway. I switched out my log trailer back to a, a flatbed. I can bounce this backwards and forwards, which is great. And at the moment, unless I bring my logs and bring a bigger grab or grapple to the train yard, um, or wherever I want to stop the train, I can rent the train and load it up with logs. Um, all the logs I've got now sat all piled up. And it's another reason why I thought, while I'm doing my logging, I'll get it all done. It's all done, the piles are there, I'm good to go. The other thing I didn't notice, and I mentioned, say, I meant to say in the previous little bit, um, I've got a rubbish bin, a, a wheelie bin at the farm, which I hadn't noticed. And also, as I think I just showed when I was doing the pallets at Palico, there's two things of uh, waste metal, which we can get rid of at some point as well. Uh, but anyway, on my way back through, I thought what we would do, we'll come to the Transition Authority farm. And um, borrow their harvester. So I've got all this gear, all this gear's here, I can, I can rent it at any point I want, which would be quite handy. There's a whole load of stuff here which I can rent. Their greenhouse is chugging away, they've got, which is a good point, is it still going? They've got carrots and cabbage and stuff happening here. All very cool, uh, but, where's the house? Oh, there it is. I forgot they got the tractor as well, haven't they, in the trailer. Oh yeah, we leased that, didn't we? That I'm trying to think what the thing was we we borrowed, leased. So harvester, so a small header, small harvester. As, oh yeah, it's a very small header. <laughs> it's gonna take us a little while. Oh, it's got a lot of stuff in it. I didn't know that. That's a problem. Uh, pipe out. Oh. Okay. Actually, you know what? I can just tip it into there. We can sort out putting it elsewhere later on. At least it's unloaded. 
Now we're going to be doing the contract on this field here. Field 12. Shouldn't take too long. I've got my tractor there already. The new Massey. I say new. The old Massey. New to us. Second hand, didn't I? And um, I've leased the um, that forage header. Forage pickup header. Um, because I was going to do the dirt. But like I'm thinking now... Might as well take the straw off this field. This is the first harvest I've done. Is it the first one I've done? That's had the ability to potentially pick up straw. I can't remember now. Because I bought a couple of bales for the horses. But it makes more sense, I think, to do it this way around. We have permission from the farmer. Let's get there. Just go to the grain elevator. <laughs> I really didn't think about how small this header was, but like I say, oh, I need to move the money. Hang on, bear with me a second. Um, there you go, a little bit of it going on there. So we need to the treaties, the treaties. I keep sorry, I'm I keep saying treaties. The treaties mining corp. They've got the a plot of land. I'll show you that at some point. But we need to move to the transitional authority. A thousand for borrowing this so there we go transfer of a grand So it's not going to take very long. It's going to take a bit longer with this, isn't it? Actual farming. So I'm not sure about the straw situation. If I collect the straw, I might have to put in a hayloft or equivalent, which I've done before. You know, there's nothing wrong with hay loss, but if you've got multi-fruit silos that are cheaper, and I know people say, oh, but you're doing the same thing, why not? Why? If it's not, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. You know what? I don't. I could, I could buy an expensive hay loft, and there are some modded ones and cheap ones and various different options available. Um, but if you can pick up a cheap multi-fruit silo that will take hay and straw and grass or whatever you want to put in it, you know, why not? You can still use it as a hayloft. You don't have to use it for multi-fruit. So our 30,000 litre trailer. Like I said, we might not have very much left off this at all, if anything. If I just get the straw off of it, it's a win, I suppose. I was just hoping if we have anything left over, even if it's like three, 4,000 litres of oats, that's something towards feeding the, the horses. So we might as well. I might keep the horses until they're kind of fully matured and maybe sell them, or I don't know. It's funny as well how my mind keeps blending maps and map tours together. So I was thinking, oh, we'll get the horse hair, won't we? But that wasn't this map. <laughs> I keep thinking of different productions, thinking, oh, I might try this production because it does this, this and this. And I click on it and think, it's weird, why is it not doing the stuff I remember it doing? Not this map, you know. It's very easily done. I'm sure when I did the one next door, I had big equipment, didn't I? A lovely farm in the background. Well, that little clip I did, there, it depends if I include it or not. It was one of those weird things um, myself and Mr. Silly Pier doing our usual. It's because my brother and his family are up in the lakes at the moment. They've been sending us pictures and messages and stuff. And um, 
because our last trip up there was a bit of a disaster with weather and whatnot and we're both a little bit we're getting that that draw that pull to go back up anyway so i was putting stuff away last night and i kind of turned to face the city with it all lit up and it was that real juxtaposition that that looking out towards the city sitting on the, the veranda sort of thing and it looks really nice it's lovely and very pretty and lit up and yeah wonderful but then turning around the other way towards the countryside which looks just stunning just absolutely amazing it's just one of those maps but then that's i don't know often when i'm doing this how much of that is the way i'm feeling myself at the moment and how much of it is uh is the map you know there'll be an element of it i guess anywho let's crack on so yeah i've got ore to collect i've got dirt to collect that lumber i'm going to leave i did think about maybe wood chipping it or maybe getting a chipper and but to be fair the lumber's worth a fair bit and once the um carpentry and the sawmill have chugged their way through which could take a while with all honesty i know i've got that wood sat there the problem i've got is if i take the ore off the property and i clear all the stumps i, I might sell the property back because realistically other than that little plot of land that where the landing is that's the only flat bit on that property i can't build on it i can't do anything with it i could plant some more trees but once that's done it's not like clearing a plot of land that you can use for farming i can't plow that and turn that into a field it's just not going to work um so potentially once i've cleared it i'll be selling that back for whoever then wants to do anything whatever they want to do on it it's entirely for them um so leaving all the lumber there is not the best idea so what i'm thinking is bringing the lumber well, bringing it, taking it somewhere else so I can store the lumber and if I sell the land back so what I might need to do is get some um, log supports so I can put the logs into a log support um, and store it until the carpentry or do I just bite the bullet and say look let's just lease a big bit of equipment load up that train and send it off by train that's probably the more sensible option rather than having it all sat there and waiting for somewhere to sell it I can sell it by train so maybe that's the way to go it's 10.44 first full load the harvester's got 5,600 litres and is full and I think I've got one more strip of the field to clear so this may complete the contract i don't know if it will actually um as far as delivered goes i tell you what as well having a tractor pulling this trailer again same as getting the um the lorry to pull the other trailer makes such a big difference from using the xj as well i love the xj to bits but yeah i mean just having a much more stable platform and i can run at full speed it doesn't start swinging out of control or anything like that i've got it set on grain door only because if it unloads too quickly you run the risk of then not being able to hold on to any if there's any left i think this is the right again always double check um so contract harvesting grain elevator check on the map we are here yep Like I say, it might not complete on this one. I'm just keeping an eye top right. It's going to take a little while, so I'll yeah, we'll merge it. much left i don't think we've only delivered 82 percent um and there's not much left on the field so i'm not sure how this is going out regardless even if i don't get anything out of it i'll um i'll have a little bit of money from the contract even if we get a couple of thousand liters it's you know, it's a job done and it's oats for you know 
for everybody living within or possibly without. What I'm going to do on the way back, I'm going to pick up that um, pickup header, I'm ready for picking up the straw off the field. Like I said, I'm, I'm trying to work out where I would put a silo in. <laughs> It needs to be fairly small and again there are so many available in the mod tab but I, I, I honestly do genuinely appreciate it. I, I know um, I've had a couple of messages where people say oh, I, I, you know people suggest things and say you didn't listen to my suggestion you know I, I get lots and lots of messages daily um, and there are certain things I like to use certain things you know and, I, and people message and say had you had you thought about this had you thought about that I'll often say well you know I hadn't thought about that and I'll go and have a look and sometimes it fits what I want to do sometimes it doesn't sometimes I use things sometimes I don't um, it all depends you know and there is there's a lot available and a lot of very different things so I'm not going to start picking up straw yet because I need to empty the harvester and then hopefully as we come back with the next lot should be okay and then we'll see complete the contract and then I'll get the straw off the field am I going to get onto any of the other jobs in this episode I don't know I'm going to have to go away and check and see how we're doing time wise um, I've got stump grinding to do got the ore to collect logs to move earth to pick up off that that plot um, I have been asked um, by the Atreides Mining Corporation to help them dig out a barrel so I might get onto that at some point but that won't be in this episode um, and they've also asked me to come in on them with they own the mine or at least the land the mine's on um, would I be interested in going into mining like a cooperative mining operation um, but I'm pretty sure the mine itself the land they own, the mine I think is, I want to say it's 120 grand. As you can see, I haven't got 120 grand at the moment, so I'm not sure how that's going to work out. Potentially, if we sell the ore, if we dig the ore out of our ground, if we get some more lumber sold, and again, there's the train option, which I might look at because I've got a bit of an idea for something that dawned on me the other day when I was doing the train work with regard to leasing the train or not leasing the train and saving yourself a bit of money which isn't something I don't often do but suddenly dawned on me I'm sure people do it all the time already but again I know I'm being cryptic but I'm just thinking of jobs I need to do moving forward things I'm going to need to do um, our corn isn't ready to harvest or anywhere near yet on our little field um, if we get a little bit more money I might start buying up some smaller fields around the farm as well so we can get more into the farming too there's so much to do in here and I haven't even begun with the productions again there's so many production chain options as well so we'll see Do I turn the engine off? Right, engine off. Pipe in, turn it on. Let's go. As you just saw, contract complete. 3,548 litres of oats left, which is great, but I can't complete the contract. Or I shouldn't complete the contract if I want to collect the straw. If I now suddenly go, oh, contract complete and take the money, I then lose access to the field and pick up the straw. Um, again, people have very strong opinions of this, and every, every time I do this, people will go, they either go, oh, I didn't know you could do that, or go, oh, you shouldn't be able to do that. I've got permission from the farmer to take the straw. Uh, what I'm going to check while we're here, I'm pretty sure this is a standard silo. What we'll do 
I'll catch the pipe on that. No, it should be alright. Should be able to put our oats in there. Oh, I should have switched it back to regular grain door, shouldn't I? Let's do that. There we go. Be a bit quicker. Back that up, do that. Yeah, standard. Standard, so I need I need to put in a hayloft, but I haven't got a lot of room. Can I fit one in? I might block the door there, but I'm not using am I using that door? I'm not, am I? Feed goes in this one here hay around that one so this door it doesn't matter too much if I block it so we could put the silo it's nice and flatter as well a silo here with the grate here maybe that might work I mean, another thing to be fair oh no because if I do that we'll have a hole in the ground and that doesn't actually have a workshop in it as you see I've got a Schultz modding um, toolbox but this building I'm not using, but this does have a pit. So the problem you've got is if I remove this building, if I demolish this, I'll have a hole in the ground. But that being said, if I'm not going to use this, that's probably not a bad idea. If I actually remove that building, will it remove all the odds and ends that go with it? I think it does. Um, and then if I landscape over a flat and then put the silo on there, so a hay loft on that bit, that'd work, wouldn't it? Let's try that. Always remember, save the game. So, let's go to demolish. 24 grand. Oh, that's a much bigger hole than I was expecting. Ah. Okay. So I need to fill that hole. I suppose what I could do is go and get all that dirt off my property that I need to get rid of and just fill this. Wouldn't that be such a cool feature if you could do that? How brilliant would that be? Um, I guess I could. I mean, the thing is about it, you can simulate that if you wanted to. I could go out now with that pickup, um, the pickup header I've got on there, and that trailer, and go and start collecting the dirt, and I could bring the dirt back here and start tipping it into the hole, and then I can, you know, then landscape tool, smooth it over, job done. So I absolutely could do. I don't know how people feel about that. Actually, I don't know how that would work, tipping that into there. I guess it would work. And then when you landscape over, you know what? That would, I'm going to use the I'm going to use the dirt to to advantage. I need to fill this hole. So the thing being now as well, I can't complete on that contract because if, if I need the straw, so what I need to do now. Is let's see, I'll do one load. This was not how I entered this episode going. This was not what I was going to do. I was going to sell all the dirt, but you know what? Because this will pick up from anywhere, my track actually leads up not far from here. And I have got some dirt out here as well on the property, which I didn't collect before. Uh, which I need to switch to that. Now I have to be careful here because there's stones here. If I pick stones up it will mess everything up. Let's turn that off. We cut across the corner of this bit here. Yeah, like I say, this, this was not my intention, but hey. Bear in mind, I bought this tractor second hand, so if you look at the, ma the maintenance, the repair, it does need some work doing on it, which we'll get to at some point. Actually, that's worked out right. Selling that building, 24 grand, I'm sure the silo, and it's one of the silos I've used before, I think it's one of the Omatana ones, um, yeah, well, it should fit this. 
Actually, there's a nice one. I know it's 25 grand. It would be replacement for replacement. Um, one of the alien gym ones that you build. You know what? I might, I might do that. I could save myself a bit of money, but, but where's the fun in that? Uh, I think it's... No, not this one. It's the next one. The next track leads up to our property. But I should be able to pick the dirt up from here as well. I'll gradually work my way up. 30,000 litres. This is going to fill up really quickly. But... Turn that on, drop it down. We have driven down here a little bit, but whoa, the dirt is heavy. This is struggling now uphill. I think the horsepower required for the pickup and the weight of the trailer. Dude. <laughs> Dude. Holy moly. Maybe better going downhill. Okay, turn it off. Lift it up. Right. So we're back there. Let's tip this into the hole. We should have plenty of dirt. That's going to squash it all over the place, which probably isn't going to help. Hit the lamppost. Why did I do that? No, don't get stuck. I've got a funny feeling it's going to be another one of those ones I'm going to edit chunks out because I think I've got a little bit carried away on this. Took a while, but the hole is filled. I can't remember how many loads you brought over. Look, yeah, it could do with being a bit smoothed out a little bit more, but that will get smoothed out in the next process. Um, I did bring this back because uh, I had quite a lot piling up outside, so I was kind of scooping it and putting it in. For some reason, with the dirt, you can drive on it and it smooths it out a little bit. I've got a little bit, a little sort of V notch all the way around here that I couldn't get to fill for some reason. But anyway, so what we'll do now is with the landscaping, we now flatten it. So I, again, it's that thing a little bit like to use an auto-low bell trailer, where you ma manually load an auto-low bell trailer. So you're doing part of the work and then tidying it up. This is the same thing. I have bought all the earth over. I have filled the hole with earth. Now we just use the landscaping tool to smooth it all out. Now, like I say, you know, technically, I didn't have to do this whole section. I could have just used the landscaping tool, smooth it all over, bang, job done. But I just thought it would work better this way. I just, I just wanted to kind of do the work that you need to to put in. So we'll smooth this over. We'll get the new silo in, and then I can go over and start collecting the straw. Um, like I say, this is not the direction I was intending to go this episode. Um, but we'll get the straw going, we'll, and then we can bring it over, and we can, that can go into the hayloft. That's probably where we're going to be by the end of this, I think. 
I've, like I said, I've got a load more to do over there, but um, I've got all the stamp grinding to do and that kind of stuff. But I might do a little bit of montage at the start of the next episode, getting rid of the stumps. I've, I've done, done a couple already, um, but just to make sure it would work. So, it depends whether you want to see this or not, I guess. You can always skip ahead if you don't. So, landscaping, sculpting. I'm going to go for level. I'm going to go level from here. Oh, no, is it not going to let me level this? I will. Come on, from there. We seem to have a problem. Come on. I do that out. Strengthen that up. There we go, we're getting there. Just need to strengthen up a little bit. Now the good thing is, the earth that I've got left, bearing in mind how much I've put into this hole, I have got a load of earth left. And what we'll do is we'll go over and collect that. When I sell that earth, that will pay for the um, landscaping costs of doing this bit. You know what, this is working way better than I thought it was going to. Should never have doubted myself for a second. So that bit there, that bit there. That's not bad. And then if you want to go the whole hog. Because that's how it would have looked once all the earth had been filled in. We're done. Building removed. Pit filled. Pit covered. Now, silo. 25 grand. I did go for that one in the end. So this is the alien gym one. Come over to here. what's nice is with the red version it fits in perfectly with the rest of the farm you know what i'm very pleased with that <laughs> that's very cool i'll do a little bit of landscaping around the edges just to tidy this up a little bit get the sort of dirt track going in and out of it and the same this side but this can now be our hayloft and we can use it for other stuff as well we can get rid of the other side if we wanted to and just use this one but for the time being and for 25 grand like the one i was going to use the amatan one was five grand so it's five times more expensive but even at 25 grand it's still not an expensive silo multi-fruit takes everything um i suppose what i could have done technically i could have left the whole part of it and said the, the silo was going down underground and we needed it excavated you know we could go down any route really but i can't remove the fencing um someone did message me and say that the fencing those two little fence panels up at the landing where the forestry is going on they can be removed you can take them out i have tried absolutely everything um i've also tried with the fencing here i don't know if it's because i'm a multiplayer maybe i've got all the various different things on that i should have on but i can't seem to remove the fencing bits but that's all right um so next job then let's go out and get this straw off this field and we can complete that contract then i'm going to go back to collecting all the dirt and when i sell the dirt then i'll be able to um recover the cost of the landscaping we just did oh i'm really happy that's gone in perfectly in place there right by the roadway fits in with everything else around here that's perfect absolutely perfect I'm not good in that, it took way longer than I thought it was going to. <laughs> I, oh, I, you know, it's like I always do, is that kind of harebrained scheme, and then you start it and think, oh, if I've bit enough more, I can chew. And then by the time you already have bit enough more and you can chew, you think, well, I'll just keep chewing. <laughs> Small bites. We'll get there in the end. So, 
So contract filled, oats off. I haven't completed because I want to be able to pick the saw up. I'll get a good idea by the time we get to the end of one row how much straw we like to get off this. This holds 30,000, so I'm just looking down there. I'm reckoning 30, 60, 90. I reckon we can get a couple of hundred thousand litres off this actually. That should last us some amount of time, shouldn't it? If we're 10,000 litres and we're half, well, maybe not, then that's going to be double that actually. I was thinking 10,000 litres each strip, three strips, 30, 60, 90, 100. No, I reckon we're going to be up around 400 maybe. Was that too much of a, is that too much of a leap, 400,000 litres? I've noticed when you're using this, whether it's for picking up dirt or, um, or straw as we're doing now, the first full load works fine. After that, we get that kind of gap where it doesn't look like it's filling, but it is. Okay, so 18,000 litres, but we did go across the top as well. Well then, we'll see. And we'll put that into our new hayloft. Multifunction. Have I done this before? Absolutely I have. Again, it works. Why would you not? And so it is done. Contract is complete. 5,707. Thank you very much. How much did we end up with? A straw? 248,883 litres. That's not bad going. We've got, well, we've got the new Volvo that we bought and put over there. We've got this during the night. We've got a new barn. We changed a building to a pit to a barn and back again. Like I say, not what I was intended, but we do have also, like I said, gosh, this was in the dark. I kind of realized this was here. So this is tucked away here. We can get rid of that. And then over at the, um, uh, over at Palico, we've got two things of um, metal that can be got rid of. I also need to now go up. I'm going to use this. I'm going to get rid of the rest of that dirt that's up there. And there's a fair bit. I think I only got... If I show you on the um, on the uh, map, we went up this fork here. I think I did the earth from this junction here up to this landing. So this bit here where the road forks, I went up to there. And we might be a little bit further along. So we've got from there... All the way around there still to do down to that point so all of that earth I will take and get rid of um, I'm thinking probably start the next episode we might try and oh yeah stump grinding now to get some stumps out I might duck so I might do a little bit of a time lapsey type thing or just a little montage of me doing stump grinding because it's it's stump grinding I've got the stump grinder it's on the front and I mean that's hilly it's not the easiest bit of land to be um, getting stumps out of and then if I can smooth out that little bit of land a little bit where um that ore is just trying to get down to it actually i'm just thinking i could use the bucket because that worked really well when i was doing the work over for for the um um the authority but this picks up as well i think that might be a better way of getting it out but like i said that's for the next episode we'll see we'll see what we do with that um yeah a couple of bits done we even we did some farming like i say i hope you enjoyed it if you have please give us a like if you don't subscribe yet please do if you want to leave a comment feel free and if you want to share this video then please be my guest whatever you should choose to do thanks for watching